3.1.3 okay we are back with some quick math um, what we're going to do in this video um, we need all of our bases to be the same okay why do we need the bases to be the same because our exponential laws only apply when your bases are the same so we need the bases to be the same that's the first thing we need to figure out the 4 is going to change to be obviously 2 squared uh, the 2 is already a uh, prime base and the 8 is going to become uh, 2 cubed so you want prime bases let's do that that'll be our first step okay so the 4 is now going to be 2 squared remember to write this in brackets the reason we're going to write this in brackets is because this 2 that we have is going to multiply with everything over there so the bracket without the bracket we might forget we will forget that that needs to multiply with everything okay then it is divided by the 2 uh, 3 to the power of n plus 2 that will stay as is and again the 8 we said that is going to change to 2 cubed that must go in brackets because there are two terms as your exponent and this, this multiplied by 8 this over here um, we know that it's a fraction multiplied by a fraction because that 8 is over 1 so we're going to put that 8 on top with the rest of the things that are on top so I'm going to say times I'm going to say times um, 2 to the power of 3 that is our 8 okay uh, there's not two terms as that exponent so brackets are not required there right what next uh, next let's get rid of all the brackets that we put so it's going to be 2 to the power of the 2 times 3 is going to give us 6n the 2 times negative 2 is going to be minus 4 multiply this with 2 to the power of 3 at the bottom you have your 2 to the power of 3n plus your 2 and then this 3 needs to multiply with both of those so that's going to give you 2 to the power of 3n minus 9 right because that 3 multiplies with both of them so what do you have now now you have all of your bases the same and we can apply our first and second exponential laws first exponential law when your bases are the same and you multiply you add your exponent so this exponent and this exponent they are going to add okay second exponential law when your bases are the same and you are dividing you are going to subtract your exponents okay so this is what we're going to do now all the exponents on top is going to add each other all the exponents at the bottom is going to subtract with the ones that are on top okay so let's write this out so we are going to say 2 to the power of 6 n minus 4 plus the 3 this one's on top so we're adding it now I'm going to say minus and I'm going to put this in brackets okay minus this one that's at the bottom the brackets are super important why because of this negative this negative here the brackets are very important because that negative is going to change everything so we are going to have this 3n plus 2 and then there's another one that's at the bottom so we need to subtract that as well minus uh, 3n minus 9 okay we almost ran out of space there right and that's going to be in your bracket okay so we still have this base 2 um let's keep this as 6n those we can add right so minus 4 plus 3 is going to give you a minus 1 this negative multiplies inside so what's that negative going to do it's going to change all my signs so this is going to become a minus 3n and it's going to become a minus 2 this negative over here multiplies in multiplies in also changes all my signs so now it's going to be a minus 3n because there was a positive 3 inside and it's going to be a plus 9 because there was a minus 9 inside correct all of this makes sense now let's check um, this is a n term this is a n term that's a n term so we'll we have 6n minus 3n minus another 3n it's going to be 0n so that disappears Great. now we have the minus 1 so the constants minus 1 minus 2 minus 1 minus 2 is minus 3 minus the 9 minus 3 minus 9 is going to give you a 6 so your answer is 2 to the power of 6 we will leave it like that although you can go put 2 to the power of 6 in your calculator and find out what it is but for us that is perfectly fine